Hi, uh, I'm Nikhil Bhatt and uh, I'm a student here at the University of California, Berkeley's uh, School of Business. I'm pursuing my uh, part-time MBA and I expect to graduate in 2017. And um, uh, this has been one of the best investments I've made in my life. The, uh, the amount of knowledge um, uh, and uh, networking and the opportunities you see here are tremendous. And uh, uh, all right, so where did you grow up? Where did you do your undergrad? I grew up in India, um, and I did my graduation uh, undergrad at the National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. And oh, NIT, Suratka. Yes. I see. And uh, I'm from Karnataka myself, so oh, wow. I see. Yeah. NIT Suratkal, a very prestigious uh, engineering college. Yeah. So, um, so you must have had very good uh, set of friends there, a lot of brilliant of students. Yes, yes. Yeah, most of them are still very good friends with me, so, yeah. I see. So how many years work experience did you have after that? Uh, I worked for about seven years uh, when I applied to uh, High School of Business. Seven years. Where did you work? I worked, uh, I initially started my career with Philips Healthcare as an engineer. Uh, I did that for about two years and after that for about four years I worked as a management consultant uh, in Chicago and I moved to an internal corporate position with Gilead Sciences in 2013 and uh, that's when I thought of doing my MBA. I see. So where all did you apply for MBA? Uh, I applied to Northwestern, uh, Chicago Booth and um, uh, uh, University of California Berkeley. Yeah, so I think Booth and uh, Northwest, I mean, they're ranked even higher than Berkeley, right? Sometimes in some of the uh, rankings? In terms of... Uh, rankings. Uh, overall rankings, yes, but uh, uh, Berkeley is the number one part-time program in the country. Really? Yeah. So, uh, so you picked Berkeley mainly because uh, of the ranking and also the, uh, the connections to the Silicon Valley? Yes, that's true. And I'm working here. And if I had to go back to Chicago, then that would have been a bigger disruption in my life. But I had to move my family back to Chicago. And that's the reason. So you, where do you work here? In I work with Gilead Sciences at Foster City. I see. So you have a daytime job and in the evenings you do your MBA. Yes, Is it very hectic to manage uh, yeah, that's job and uh, MBA and family? Yeah, it can get very hectic, but it, it's uh, made even worse because of the commute. Uh, uh, in the Bay Area, which is terrible in the peak hours, and you will have to travel around uh, the Bay Area during the peak hours. And so, does your company that you work remote or something? No, uh, but I ha I don't have a job uh, which allows me to work remotely. Uh, so you have to be at Foster City like from yes, nine to yes. nine to five. Yeah. So, are you sponsoring yourself, or your company is sponsoring you? Uh, my company is uh, sponsoring me partly, uh, but. Uh, I'm sponsoring the rest of it through loans. Oh, I see. So, um, uh, but do you think your investment is worthwhile? I think so. I you think it's the best thing you did in your life? I think so. At least uh, whether I get any financial reward in the future or not, just the uh, people that you get to know and the knowledge that you gain pays for itself. Okay. A lot of people say, uh, you know, Stanford is, you know, sometimes a better option because there are more number of students every year and uh, more entrepreneurial opportunities. Do you feel that way or do you like Berkeley better? Oh, I, so that's a hypothetical question because I haven't been to Stanford. Uh, but I'm sure it's, uh, it's as great a school as Berkeley. Uh, so, and uh, like I didn't have a chance to apply to Stanford because they don't offer a part-time program. And at this point in my life, I, I, don't wanna, I didn't wanna go full-time, so. But, so this is pretty much the only choice I have. Oh yes, okay. So uh, maybe uh, one bit of advice you would like to give to future applicants is to live close to campus because yeah. you can avoid the commute. Yeah, uh, so. live close to the campus or just live somewhere which reduces the commute. Okay, so um, do you kind of carpool or something? Yeah, I, like I've been carpooling since the first day of class. Yeah, I see, we, that reduces the hassle a little bit. Yeah, that reduces the hassle a little bit. Okay, so what about your GMAT experience? Oh, yeah, GMAT, it was good. I mean, you obviously need to have a pretty high score to get into schools like UC Berkeley, but yeah. So, can you tell us your GMAT? Uh, my GMAT score was 750. Oh, that's very good. And uh, did you take GMAT coaching anywhere? No. I see. Okay, so um, what are your favorite courses here? 
my favorite courses so far has been strategic leadership, macroeconomics, and data strategy. Data strategy? Yeah. What is data strategy? Data strategy is how the world is evolving and how you need to have, uh, what kind of data strategy you need to have in mind when you're starting any business or running any business to sort of optimize uh, the returns on the opportunity. All right. So, um, what do you plan to specialize in? General MBA or like? I plan to specialize in sort of strategic. Uh, like corporate strategy? Yeah, strategy uh, coupled with marketing. I see. Okay. So, you feel like this is not something you could learn from a textbook. It has to be in a program. Yeah, there's no way you can learn it from a textbook. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what uh, kind of advice do you have for future applicants? You know, get to the best schools like this and uh, that's going to open up a lot of doors. I see. So, best of luck and thank you very much for your video.